coming to see that they're blowing around and wherever they land they're going to grow new plants for the butterflies these are the the pods that we did not take because remember if you're going to take some of the pods i say uh, when they're young i say take only a few don't destroy the plant and let the rest go to seed so we can have more plants for the butterflies and for us too because they're so beneficial hey chi chi my dog loves it up here yeah the air is crisp and this is the perfect time really to go for hikes because the heat doesn't doesn't break you down when it's hot not only are you tired hiking but it just drains you i wanted to show you the mushrooms that we've been picking the only ones that we've been really finding uh, i call them sticky buns <laughs> that's not its true name let's see if i could find a couple uh, i love them the only thing is that you have to peel back the skin and maybe if I'm lucky, because as it gets colder, we're going to have less and less mushrooms. I mean, we'll still get some mushrooms, but less and less of a certain variety. Yeah, let me see if I could find some for you. I call them sticky buns because the top is very sticky and all the leaves and the twigs get stuck on it. But if you peel the skin back on top of the mushroom, uh, you actually have a very delicious mushroom. And maybe we'll come across one of those mushrooms as we, as we walk the trail. Oh, here's one. Here's a sticky bun. There it is. Okay. Notice how everything is stuck to it. So what I do is I just pinch off the bottom and then all I do is before I cook it, I just peel back the top part and chop it up and fry it. Isn't this trail beautiful? And my daughter and my doggy. Yeah, really beautiful. This place is just magical. This trail, believe it or not, is connected to the Great Trail, the Great Canadian Trail. Uh, this one here, my dear, takes up to three years to complete it. Two to three years. If you want to finish this trail, you're going to be on it for two to three years. And I'm not talking this part. This is just a piece that used to be a train track. And they turned it into uh, the biggest walking, biking trail. And it goes from one town to another town. But it is connected to the great Canadian trail. But yeah. I mean, you got to love coming up here. You got to love going for a walk. Nature gives you enjoyment that costs you nothing. It really doesn't. And if you can't afford to have a country home or a cottage, there's so many places that have small huts that you can rent. They can rent a hut for a day, two days, whatever time. And you can spend, even if it's just one day that you come up here or anywhere that has nature it's free nature is beautiful and it just relaxes you and besides relaxing you it gives you a good workout and it keeps you healthy the air is so fresh my daughter keeps saying i have to pinpoint the smell what is that smell she keeps telling me she tries so many times to reproduce the smell with candles and oils essential oils but you never really get the smell it's just you never really get it it's so nature nature I mean it's you can't reproduce this no matter how hard you try look at this picture right there Erica hi I want to take a picture my granddaughters love it here they call this the mystical forest Look what Erica just found. Look what Erica just found. These poor little guys are freezing. 
Oh my god, are they gonna die? I need to know what happens to these butterflies. Do they just die? Did he miss his window to fly away and he's stuck here? I don't know. Hey? Eh? Why? It's so beautiful. Put her in the sun. Look right there. On top of the uh right there, look. Go right in there. It's nice and warm there. What happens to butterflies? Does anybody know? Do they normally fly away? I gotta look that up. But yeah, my granddaughters love it here. And they love it where it's all mossy. They just throw themselves on it. My daughter Erica took some nice pictures of them. Come JJ, this way. I'll find the spot. Anything that's got some mossy spots, they go crazy for it. Like this section here. They just throw themselves on it. And that there is where my granddaughters love to throw themselves on. We come here and we sit and we have a bite to eat. Now where's my Chi Chi? Hi JJ. Don't bring home any ticks JJ. But we love it here. Erica's trying to warm up a butterfly. Hi Eric. So nice and warm over there. Hey? Come Chi Chi. Come JJ. Hey? And if we walk all the way to the back, uh, we end up seeing the beautiful, eh? Um, How beautiful is it, guys? Uh, as beautiful as my daughter Erica. Uh, She's so excited. Do you see how excited my daughter is when I call her? It's like, okay, here she is with that camera again. Ma, leave me alone. I just want to say thank you guys. Look how beautiful and spectacular this tree is. And Erica says have a good day. And Chi Chi says have a good day. Erica says have a good day. Chi Chi, you're getting the rope between your legs. And I'm going to say thank you guys. I love you. Go out. Enjoy the weather while you can. If you're not one that goes out in the winter, this is the perfect time to go, especially when we get weather like this. Put a nice little, I'm wearing a hunting jacket. You put a nice warm sweater and you're good to go. With the sun beaming on you, I lost my daughter. Where are you, Erica? Go out and enjoy life, guys. Forget about that new toy that give you just that temporary happiness. This will always be with you.